So one of the things that iOS does do well, sort of, is video calls. Uh, I actually really like FaceTime. FaceTime is a good tool, but it doesn't work well for some of the client work that I do. It doesn't work well for some of the client work that I do because I can't record at the same time and my clients want a copy of the calls that we have so that we can go over them later so they can reference them, any links I said, any advice I gave them, anything like that. So for that, we use Zoom. Now, Zoom is good uh, in that it works on the iPad. Now, it doesn't do some things like picture and picture calling, which I really wish it did. Uh, it works with the headsets, that's great. But um, yeah, the bigger problem, in fact, is that downloading the video on iOS is just plain hard and it doesn't have to be. I don't know why companies do this, assuming you would never want to download the video if you're on an iOS device, because that's just not true, right? Looking at my staff today and something like 78%, 70, uh, 72% of users to my site are in a tablet or mobile device. That's what it said, it was 62 from mobile and 11 from tablet. So like in a device, in a device like this that I got for my script right now. So that is, it's huge. People are using devices and they make things way too hard. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I download uh, Zoom videos, just a real quick tip, how I download Zoom videos so that I can send them off to my clients later, usually just drop them in Dropbox and send them off. And that's it, buckle up. Zoom. I've got here is I've got two recordings. You already noticed some of the UI is not optimized. You can see, right? I've got some cutoff stuff right at the top, which is unfortunate. Uh, but I found, unfortunately, it is par for the course with a lot of apps. They really aren't, as much as they're responsive and mobile, they're just not great. Especially business apps are not doing a good job of um, really treating tablets as first class citizens, which sucks. So there's some workarounds. And today we're gonna to talk about that specifically with Zoom and how to download the file. So the first thing you want to do is hit share. Let's make sure that you have download checked. You can see I have viewers can download and that blue bar or that blue toggle is checked or switched over. Then we want to grab our link. We could copy the whole thing to the clipboard if we wanted and then just deal with it there. But I'm gonna grab just the link by itself. I'm gonna copy. And then I can grab a new tab, uh, Command T to grab my new tab and paste it in. Now on any other browser that's not iOS, what you have here now too is a download up in the top corner. Top left, top right hand corner is where you have this download link. And you don't have it here because of course, why would anyone on iOS want to ever download anything? This is where one of the trusty Swiss Army knife of everything tools comes in called iCab, so let's open that up. You can see as it shows up here that I use it to get around Grammarly's terrible app as well, but we're not gonna look at Grammarly right now. We're going to look at that recording. I'm gonna paste the same link in there, and I'm gonna look at Zoom, and you can see I've got download right up at the top corner. That's really it. All I've done is use iCab. Now, the thing about iCab is that if I drop into the settings, which is that gear icon, if I drop into network, what I've told it right here, you can see is I've told it to identify as Safari 10.1 Mac. So what I'm telling the site that I'm viewing is that I'm not an iOS device, I'm a Mac, please. This is unfortunately one of the things you've got to do on a number of sites to get around their ridiculous lack of features in iOS. I don't know why they don't provide a full interface for iOS, but they don't. And you can't even get it in their app, right? If I go to Zoom again, look back at their app, and you might think that I can look under contents, maybe. There's nothing, right? And I don't, there's no, no ways for me to download anything, right? No images, I don't have anything anyways in here, but there's no way for me to download that recording that I know I have, that they've emailed me about. I just can't do anything with it, all right? There's nothing under settings. There's just no way for me to grab that without using iCab to lie to it. So if you're on iOS, you're looking to download Zoom files, that's how you do it. Grab iCab, tell it to identify itself as Safari 10.1 Mac. That's just what I found to be the best. It has multiple other options for you. And then go download your files like a first class citizen on the web. If there's anything else you wanna know about how we work with apps, how I use my iPad to do everything from web development to video editing to podcasting. Let me know. 
underneath here in the comments. Like, subscribe. I'd love to have any more questions about how you can be productive in iOS.